This is Dr. Sidney Tyson from Vineland, New Jersey, and I'd like to share with you a video on the implantation of a new microinvasive glaucoma device called the CyPass Microstent from Alcon. The device was approved by the FDA in 2016 for use in patients with mild to moderate glaucoma at the time of cataract surgery. The device works by increasing aqueous outflow from the anterior chamber to the supraciliary space, thereby leveraging the uveal scleral pathway. Surgical gonioscopy shows the pertinent anatomical landmarks, with the blue hour representing Schwalbe's line, the red hour representing pigmented trabecular meshwork, and the white hour representing the scleral spur. The stent will be placed in the supraciliary space, which lies between the scleral spur and the iris root. The stent is 6.35 millimeters long and is made of a flexible polyimide material. And the shaft of the stent has 64 fenestrations, which allow for the percolation of aqueous into the supraciliary space. What you see here is the uh, easy load cartridge, which the stent comes in, along with the insertion device, uh, which has a blunt retractable guide wire. A click of the button loads the stent onto the guide wire. The pupil is already pharmacologically constricted with myocol, and the anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. So the stent is moved down towards the very tip of the guide wire. The scope in the patient's head are angled at 45 degrees in order to optimize angle visualization. The gonial lens is applied. The anatomy is very visible now. Uh, the guide wire enters the eye through the primary incision and is advanced so that the tip is placed against the hard stop of the nasal scleral spur. You can see me feeling for it, pushing right on the scleral spur right there, a hard stop. The device is then inserted by advancing forward and down sliding off the scleral spur and following the curve of the sclera. Then you simply tap on the proximal end until it lies just below Schwalbe's line and two retention rings are visible. And that's it. Intuitive and straightforward. Once it stents in the supraciliary space, there's a negative pressure gradient which acts like a vacuum to pull aqueous into it. So it's very effective at lowering pressure. Then we simply remove the residual viscoelastic and the procedure is done. In terms of efficacy, our outcomes have been comparable to those found in the Pivotal Compass trial. 73% of our patients had an IOP reduction of seven millimeters of mercury or more, and 93% are actually off medicines altogether. So it is clinically superior to cataract surgery alone, and effective, and with a sustained effect well over two years. In addition, the device is really found to be safe and low risk, with less than 3% of patients having hyphema or hypotony, and both of those events resolve without incident when they do occur. So overall, it's been an exciting treatment option for our patients with cataract and open-angle glaucoma.